Hello and welcome to this introduction to PHP. PHP is a server-side programming or scripting language. PHP allows you to serve websites with processing done on the server. So what do I mean by server-side? Server-side processing is where PHP pages are saved on the web host. These pages can be very simple or they could be very complicated and provide functionality to a web page that far exceeds the capabilities of HTML. So what's the difference between server side and client side? Client side is where the programming elements are all loaded into the web browser at the point of use. So a programming language that does this would be JavaScript and it's added to the HTML code. Then this code is downloaded at the time when the visitor visits the page and any processing is done on the page in real time or real enough time and uses the visitor's computer to process that functionality. Where service side differs is the functionality written in the PHP files is processed on the server and can take advantage of software and services installed on the server, giving the site abilities to do higher memory and processing tasks without bogging the visitor's computer down. PHP is an open source scripting language, which means it's free to use. Much like most programming languages, PHP has open and closed tags, which signifies that PHP code needs to be processed within these tags. So let's look at the example here. So we have a triangle bracket, and we have a question mark, and then we have PHP. And then on a new line, we have the word echo within double quote marks. We have hello world, and then we have a semicolon. And on the next line down, we have a question mark and a close triangle bracket. So let's look at this in a bit more detail. First, you have the open PHP tag, which tells the browser this is a PHP instruction. Second, the command that we have here is the echo command, which will output whatever is within the double quotes. In this case, it's hello world. This line, as with all lines in PHP, is terminated before the end PHP tag to say this is the end of the instruction, process it now. And then third is the end PHP tag to say this is the end of the PHP code. This works well when embedding PHP into HTML pages, as you can see where the start and end of your code is. This is how I usually code. So here is another example of some PHP code embedded into a HTML page. That is a very, very basic web page with PHP embedded into it. As you can see, indenting code, regardless of HTML or PHP is a bonus, as you can see uh, what code is grouped and nested with what. This is the introductory video in a series for PHP web programming made easy by Ansar Mustafa. The rest of this course We'll show you how to install a PHP environment and we'll teach you all about the language and we will create our first dynamic website together. And if you want to be part of this course, please like and subscribe to my videos and join me on my Patreon.